All right, so we handle medical malpractice cases, and over the years we've handled cases against uh, various doctors um, in town. Uh, one of those cases was against Restore Plastic Surgery in the past. We uh, have looked at many cases against that facility and Dr. Brown over the course of the years, but many of the cosmetic procedures don't, even though they end up with bad results many times, especially coming out of there, um, they don't justify bringing a malpractice case many times. Since this has happened and since this has come to light, we've had a resurgence, if you will, of people that were patients at the Restore who were questioning whether their the end result is malpractice or not. Remember, malpractice is negligence. Negligence is re failure to use reasonable care, uh, failure to perform as a reasonable and prudent plastic surgeon would perform under similar circumstances. That's the technical definition of it. Um, reasonableness is basically the standard, uh, reasonable care. And, but the result of the operation has to render you disfigured in some way significantly or uh, disabled or um, give you some type of infection that you should have never gotten because of the way the procedure was performed. Flowers sit at the door of Restore Plastic Surgery after the death of Hillary Brown. Today, the business was closed. The sheriff's office says a 911 call was made from the surgery center just after 4 p.m. on November 21st. We obtained a copy of the dispatch call. A 32-year-old female was undergoing a procedure for a lipo fat transfer from an arrest. Officials say Brown died almost a week later on November 28th. The major crimes unit with the District Medical One Examiner's Office is conducting a death investigation. The sheriff's office released a statement saying, in part, the SRSO investigators frequently conduct death investigations when the death was unexpected or the death occurs under unusual circumstances. The sheriff's office says autopsy results could take several months as it waits for lab and toxicology test results. We're seeing all kinds of stuff since this came out. Um, of course, everybody's hope is that, that this was not anything uh, intentional. Uh, it does sound like there was a major case of malpractice at the very best. Um, it, it does sound like it was gross malpractice, gross negligence to have these procedures without controls and without safeguards for patients, especially if you're uh, operating on somebody that you know. Um, we're hearing a lot of patient abandonment things where basically they're not answering their phone, and these are patients that need treatment. And, um, and then we're hearing a bunch of stories about patients that have been uh, uh, sort of babied along for months and years with ongoing wounds and open wounds and things that uh, should have been dealt with long ago. Now they're realizing that maybe they weren't being told the truth. Um, if you have questions about any kind of medical procedure that you feel like could have been the result of uh, malpractice, you can certainly reach out to us. We'll be happy to evaluate it. Remember, we have a physician here that's full-time at the firm, and one of the, his sole jobs every day is to re review these malpractice cases. Of course, we go to trial, unlike many firms, and we try lawsuits, we trial malpractice cases, we get big verdicts, again, unlike most a lot of firms uh, that don't ever see the inside of a courtroom. Um, if you have questions about a medical malpractice case, a Ben Brown case, uh, restore plastic surgery case, you can find us on the web at zarzalaw.com or you can call us at 855-HIRE-JOE. Thank you.